So let's acquire some reference materials. We are going to just open up Google and I will do bowling pin, just that simple, and go to images and find a bowling pin that I like. It's really that simple. Um, there are a lot of different sizes and styles. I kind of liked this one because it had some official writing on it. So I thought, oh, this must be an official pin. I'm going to I'm going to snag that one. So I'm just going to right click on that and I will save the image. Now, I don't want to just save the image over here from the thumbnail because if I do, it's going to save the thumbnail. The thumbnail is super small. When I go to enlarge it, it's not going to look good. So always click on the image first and then right click and save image as locate wherever it is that you're saving your 3d art to I am going to create a new folder and I'll call this one my bowling alley and double click on that and I want to name this file I don't want to keep it USB GN blah 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 right so I'm going to call this my pin reference image dot JPEG because it's an image and JPEGs are for images. So now that you have that saved, make sure you know where you saved it because you are going to be opening that back up in Blender. You could also save some other reference material. Let's say you want to have a bowling alley scene in the background. So maybe you could click on bowling alley scene and maybe you like this and you want that in the background. Um, let's see. This one's pretty fun. You could develop your own scene in Blender. That would probably be even better. But, you know, for the sake of time, oh, here's a really fun bowling alley scene. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab something fun that I can put in the background. So I'll go ahead and right click and save this image as my bowling alley scene or bowling alley background. I can put this image in the background just for fun. Maybe I want uh, a bowling ball uh, for reference. Um, I had picked this gold one earlier. I love that one. Um, but you can pick any bowling ball that you want, the size of the holes that you like. Um, so yeah, here's a good one because the holes are kind of right in front of you where you can see them. So I'm gonna click on that one and right click, save image as bowling, oopsie, ball reference image. Okay, all right, perfect. So that's how you find reference materials. Not difficult.